Though nonviolence is sometimes heroic, it doesn't require superpower. It's actually a strength that you can use in your daily life with the people around you. Think about it. What conflicts do you have? A family quarrel? Alvin Strait, a 73-year-old man from the United States, went 10 years without speaking with his brother due to family disputes. Yet when he found out that his brother was gravely ill, he decided to go and talk with him. Because Alvin didn't have a driving license, he drove a riding lawnmower the 466 kilometers into Wisconsin. It took him six weeks to get there. His brother ultimately recovered and the family were reunited. Conflicts with children? The grandson of Mahatma Gandhi was supposed to drop off his father's car at the mechanic shop, pick it up later, and then pick up his father. Arriving late and ashamed because he had been to the cinema instead, he made up an excuse. The father was hurt by his son's lie and told him that he would rather walk home to think about where he had gone wrong in his son's upbringing. After that night of driving the car behind his father, who chose to walk the 29 kilometers home, a five and a half hour journey, Arun swore he would never lie again. Conflicts with neighbors? The people of the suburb of Kanjemi, Nairobi, were blocked from crossing into the streets of the neighboring luxury district of Mountain View, merely because they were poor. Yet a group of women protested by taking off their clothes in front of the guards and making them feel ashamed for cooperating with such discrimination until they finally reopened the road. There are many examples for you to learn more about. Now, invent a different ending to the conflicts and be creative in finding other solutions. What might touch the other person's heart? What might change the reality? Move nonviolent.